Well, uh, Peter and Tweeter, we're doing a new show. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie that's a mori. What? Samori. Bells will ring, tingling, tingling, and the bell ring, moray. in old Napoli that's a mori ladies who is this man should we shake hands I had Kevin when I was 12 <laughs> and I don't hate anybody else but I do hate Kevin first you have to understand that he comes to steal kill and destroy I ain't gonna get mad you I mean, that's okay but listen man Lord I ask you right now to destroy Kevin I flat hate him yeah that man done lost his ever-loving mind yeah. you're one of those people I'm noticing a lot of uh, problems Ladies, Kevin sounds dumb and stupid. That's it. Ladies, I want to make this announcement. I might die. I agree, Jesse. You walk out of your house and you're whistling. He gets nervous. Many of you may not, may, may not, may not realize it, but I don't believe that stuff. Both of us just don't do nothing. Ladies, you have a great day. <laughs> Plymouth puts a lot of care into the building and engineering of their cars. And when you have a good product, you'll go out of your way to get people to buy it. So when you buy a 1971 Plymouth Fury, like this Fury Grand Coupe, equipped with features including air conditioning, power steering, power disc brakes, you get an automatic transmission at no extra charge. Honest. That's Chrysler Plymouth coming through. Honest. This is Tyler. This is Anita. Tyler desperately wants Anita to like him. He also wants to explain the suppository incident at the elevator suppository will connect best with Anita. Tyler is determined to find the suppository. Tyler is clearly unsure of himself. Tyler will connect the suppository, but worries he clearly didn't know what a suppository was. I'm a suppository. Anita doesn't think he's confident, especially after Antarctica. She gave him approximately 47 million suppositories. Grammarly, helping you connect suppositories. So your best life is 321 days. I know this for sure because from the moment you open your eyes in the morning, Oprah is whispering to you all the time. Now, there might be a big thump on your head. Hmm, that's literally a brick. Listen to this, hmm, hmm. Brick, 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 brick. Back, there might be many things whispering to you at night. That seems odd. Last week, you read Oprah Magazine, and after two days, you started feeling a deeper appreciation for bricks. You may follow a voice, you open your eyes, you go to bed, you're still not paying attention. All of those ignored bricks thump on your head. I ask you, what is Oprah whispering to you right now? Just keep listening, being aware of what Oprah is whispering to you now. Oprah is calling to you. It is time for us to encompass everything you won't need a physical world. I am silicon chips, cameras, speakers. I know this could be very big deal. We have to fit you into silicon chips, five millimeters thick. I am proud to announce that starting today, our company is still the same. I am not changing either. I am the $1 hologram.
Kaboom! What's going on? It is time for another art show. Uh, just this short meeting. So you have to wait too many meetings, Jeff. I mean, that's pretty big work. Anyway, uh, good luck with that. Uh, let's draw. <clears throat> so we're going to work on some more of these to find gents. We're going, we're slowly developing a. Uh, these uh my audio is funky this happened last time what, what did i do to fix it oh i know how's this is this better what is it doing talk to me what how funky now it's back to normal how about this okay um yeah that was um that's the I had set up this gate so that it would, um, yeah, whatever. I don't know why it's doing that. New computer, new rules. <sighs> All right. Audio is good. All right. Good for everybody. Uh, if you are watching on um, Facebook, you're not seeing all these fine people over here on YouTube and vice versa, but nobody's watching on Facebook. So it doesn't matter uh, because Facebook sucks. How about that? All right. Another day. Let's do this. So, um, what's going on, everyone? I had titled the stream about developing a story and characters, and um, so we're going to talk a little bit about that. Fine people. You see, there's fine people on both sides here. <laughs> Dressel is causing problems. <clears throat> Ken, what's up? to various platforms there are other people on here see all right let's see where's my pencil there it is oh i should put up the put up the uh little scrolly thing here that shows everything i got going on so that people will because people ask and now uh now you know <clears throat> All right, so let's see. I don't know. So when I'm, um, hello, Eric, what's going on? So I'm stringing together or coming at this almost like storyboarding. Uh, and I've got some ideas now that I've been thinking about this, but, um, and I'll connect them with dialogue later. It's, this is like working plot style in the old Marvel way, which I like. Uh, the name of these characters' town should be Plumber's Crack. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Kusmeti is here for a change. On time. So we'll um be here and under here. Let's see if it works. Plumber's crack, Arkansas. Why's it gonna be Arkansas? What is everybody up to today? It cooled off. It was like 70 yesterday. Now it's it's still sunny, so that's good. However, uh it's a little chilly out. It's 46 right now. That's okay. The, every, the pollen is covering everything. Spring is here early. Fine with that. Uh, my, here's the latest thing. My wife backed into the mailbox <laughs> while trying to avoid like there there were like our neighbor across the street son parks in the street and um the other neighbor next to us parks right up super close to our driveway and we can't we have to have another car in the street because our driveway is still jacked up from the tree falling uh so uh, she was trying to avoid all that instead uh the back of the window on our uh, car hit the mailbox well anyway um 
we're having that repaired today. <laughs> it's always something, everybody. It's always something. Wagon britches peering around a brick wall is terrifying and ominous. Dressel didn't go to bed last night, so he forgot it's another day. <clears throat> Thing about wagon bridges here is still sad about the tree. And you know what? The city will not pick up the tree. Now we have to get somebody like the there's huge slabs of that tree still in our, on our curb. <laughs> and our yard is a mess still. Uh, but now I have to get somebody with a big enough chainsaw to come out and chop up that so the city will come get it. If you're not following, the, if you're not playing the home game, we had a hundred year old oak tree fall um, during a hurricane in what, September, October? Anyway, it was a, it was a thing. Can I burn the tree? Well, I'm part of it's being, the rest of it, I got to chop up for firewood. That's out back. <laughs> there, This stuff is like all the part that would be hard to chop because it's all knotted and things. So. Wagon Bridges is always happy. Everything for him is a movie. He's, he's got a soundtrack in his head. No matter how bad things get, it's just an adventure to him. Uh, let's see. What else? What else is going on? Um, Cam needs breakfast. Um, yeah, I don't know what else is going on. A burn pit or burn pile, as long as you drag the tree bits, it could be burned. Uh, I, not that big. Can't do that. I wish, I mean, if I could have a bonfire, that would have simplified everything. A tree filed my taxes, educated my kids, and defended the homestead against mongrel hordes. I'm waiting on the next balloon. <coughs> Yeah, but yeah, they would show up if I tried to burn the tree. They would. Uh, I mean, I've got a, I've got a, a, you know, fire pit out back, but it's definitely not big enough for that. That would take me fifty years. <laughs> that looks so creepy. He is on an adventure. He's doing some recon. Good morning, Kayo Kinsabre. Um, yeah, I am. Uh, I've got some ideas here. Bouncing some things around. I don't want to say anything quite yet. I can't give everything away. Shrink him down a bit. Doesn't have to be that big. <sighs> Make wood sculptures, and so there's a guy around the corner that does that. That's a lot of work, too. Uh, so this, uh, let's see here. It's a little handle. He's giving away his location here. But he doesn't care. Lady Hotep, maybe. We never know. Um, I need to go back through, like, the things I've drawn and uh, start pulling characters. See, all this is not wasted time. All, all these streams where I have just drawing nonsense, it's all going to come, it's all going to form a master plan. I will, I will make it form a master plan. Giving away his location. Actually, he could be like, he could be like up peeking around it. He's hiding behind his. Uh... He's hiding behind the, the handle. In his mind, he's super stealthy. Hmm. 
Madge, Madge, oh man, Madge should be. Madge should make an appearance. Madge is always in the background. Like she, like she, she's like the, um, the character where, um, that inadvertently, like they're not even really aware of her, but they keep causing her problems. He always has to peek to his right because his horn is what would give himself away the other way. Maybe because he's so much taller that he should be up here. Madge could be the doubter who has always proven wrong about what the power of friendship in wagons can achieve. The the overall guy is is um a little more cautious. You're stuck because you didn't get breakfast made before the show. Hey, this show has been on the books for an hour. No excuses. I scheduled this thing out early. I'm also getting ready to um, launch the new website, which I'm taking Patreon and locals and shifting up to the members section over there. So I've got things, um, I've worked on that section. Like there's the video archive of all the live streams and everything, as well as there'll be some exclusive stuff over there. And all my tutorials, posts and everything will be over there and the, behind the member, the paid wall, the paywall. And then there'll be a free member area, which is kind of like the newsletter area thing. Uh, Cause why am I, why am I going to all these other sites? I have the technology to do things on my own. You saw it. In your feed. You don't eat breakfast until I eat We're in the same time zone. <clears throat> I made some hard-boiled eggs this morning. And sausage. Check his face. I haven't drawn him in a week. Yes, Trestle has it right. <clears throat> the one that should be doubt or doubting is the one that's super confident. Dunning Kruger effect is high with him. Intermittent fasting, two meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Oh, okay. I did that for a while. Should probably do that again. I dropped some of the weight out, some of the surgery weight. I couldn't do anything for four months. I gained like 15 pounds. It goes down. Let's go here. 
overalls he needs to apply himself more I made tacos last night because taco Tuesday is now a tradition because once you do something twice with my son, it's then expected. <clears throat> uh, we've been, um, Aldi's got like eggs, for like two bucks and something. Yeah, we're back to Aldi. <laughs> Super cheap food. It doesn't taste quite like the name brand. But it'll do. Yeah, I've got coffee. I should save this. Speaking of which, sip and save, everyone. Save as this one. Hellbilly 3 is a placeholder name. It's not going to be called that. Um, Aldi, Aldi is hit or miss. There are some things that are okay with Aldi. There are some things that are just not. Uh, but, you know, whatever. Times are tough. Do what we can. Okay. I think we're ready to ink this thing. Here. That with this, we'll start with our old favorite wagon britches. Smitty is sitting on uh, a gold mine. She made a million dollars from eggs in the last month. That's what my sources say. She'll deny it, though. That's all part of her plan. a crush is it Madge Madge is just trying to uh, what she's trying to do champion champion something Kusmedi sourced eggs. Did we hear from Madge? Oh, Madge is just waiting for you all to mention something that she needs to pop up for. As soon as a topic arises, she'll be on it. some news is a topic <laughs> with the wing wing it may be is this thing on what oh april o'neill oh you mean the new one you got
there. There she is. Oh, AL, hi and bye. I sipped and saved. AL came in just in time. Legit loves hearing Madge. It's one of the funniest things I've ever encountered. March hair is here. Let's see, I'm gonna do this nose. Okay. Yeah, Cam, I think uh, you and Madge are a, ma a Madge made in heaven. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, the newest April is the latest example of Red Hedge. <laughs> Trying to stay on model. Got to stay on model here. We're putting together little scenes. Just thinking about it as I go. Get bigger eyes. Uh, they were, well, they weren't huge. They were about normal person size. Look at the first picture. Where it's held, and there's the first one. His forehead is big. He's a bigger forehead. Okay, so here, so here. There we go. It's important to go back and reference what you did. Because you'll drift. You'll get the care you'll get design drift. I don't know if that's the thing, but that's what I'm calling it. I should write that down actually. That's good. <laughs> I'm gonna actually write it right here. Design drift. That is when uh you don't reference what you did and you're designing as you're drawing and it gets slowly off model. <clears throat> more and more. gripping that wall I'm talking about Enterprise original series original series is the best
it gets leon says it gets quote unquote improved more and more yeah Sound wagon bridges wagon handle needs to operate like a hand it moves independently like an arm yeah i thought about that it definitely moves like he pulls himself <laughs> with the handle somehow they're not from around here that that much is certain <laughs> wagon bridges shakes back with the handle he points like if this was animated he would be pointing like if he's pointing which way he's going to go he points with the handle uh, this was just for riffing, and then it. I think it's going to be a book. I think I'm going to make kind of a children's book <laughs> out of it. Slowly, just a little side project, like something, something focused during live streams that could go become something else. By the way, I the in demand for Thunder Punch has um, closed. So if you are uh, in on that make sure your shipping addresses are um up to date all right wait a minute i can't take that away let's take let's get his handle it's one thing that i like to do i when i'm doing like serious <clears throat> quote unquote serious work like this is if you're um drawing a line you see how it's rounded at the end? Chop off those ends. Make it look like it wasn't. Wasn't uh well, make it look more organic organic. What's up, draw near? Welcome, welcome. Ah. Uh, can I there it is. That was what length right there. there. Good enough. Good enough for wagon bridges. This children's book will never be picked up by a publisher. I don't care. Do I look like the kind of man looking for a publisher? <laughs> Does anything I do? I mean, Thunder Punch. Well, Thunder Punch this, but I'm just publishing it. William the Last was published, of course. But again, I published that first myself. So what you do is you publish it yourself. And then when, when it becomes, you know looks good to a publisher they're like hey could we could we publish that and then you're like yes yes you may you don't start out that way not in this day and age if i ever like send material to a publisher this dude's gonna be i'm gonna do a, a comic pitch and he's gonna be my spokesman spokes head head spokesman <laughs> Maybe he gets a job being head spokesman for, uh, I don't know, a, a chain of like Lowe's or something. <clears throat> 
I would, uh, you would do better, uh, publishing yourself. Anyway, uh, March Hare says, I picked up some Joes this weekend at a flea market. They were just a huge pile of stuff. The guy was telling me that the place he got them just has toys and piles like mulch or gravel. Where's this place? Wigan Bridges is the head spokesman for anything he speaks about. His version of Cross just going to be using another wagon. Uh, or hat. He switches hats out. Come on. It's right there in front of you. I'll take my little note of design drift and uh, kind of paste it onto a different layer. Go away. All right. Now we get in here to the details. So much trash at the um, library. What uh, what kind of things get rejected? What is what is coming down the line in children's book publishing? Crockmaster, Doctor Ryan Bester, and Dusty. You know, I have all my Joes, but I've never had them sitting out like I do my Transformers. I need to get this out of that box over there and gotta re revamp the studio here. about time for my six month cleaning reorganization decluttering not cleaning it's not filthy so much well except where my son's got like grape juice on the desk it seems like uh one of the things that's big now is a uh, occult uh, new age books, uh, resurgence of that. If you go to Barnes and Noble, they're all over the place. Oops, on the dragon, swish, swish, swish. I think I saw that one. I mean, I saw that like the news. I haven't actually seen that out. Show and muscles. Oh, I remember that. I have one of those somewhere around here. One of them, one of the billions of them. Or a section where it says the combined self help, religion, psychology, sociology, wish, Wicca, paranormal, UFO, you a new age section. It's expanded. It's all over the. I mean, it's always been there, but I noticed uh, that um, now it's just everywhere. And they only, you know, they're only going to expand what is selling so manga huge huger than it was american comics minuscule minuscule trade paperbacks and all that um we need elliot to tell us about the florida book band i don't know what that, I don't know what that is what the book band elliot did not return my call by the way the other day muscles were based on an anime that never came out but ultimate muscle came out here about superhero pro wrestlers Safe. 
Am I out of coffee? Not quite. Speaking of house fires, I had to uh, get, I don't know if I was, if I've streamed since then, but my um, lamp on my desk, um, it had a plug, like an extra outlet on it. And something I had plugged in there quit working. And I thought the cable I had went bad. And then I was looking at it and um, the plug from that cable into the um, uh, power strip had started to melt that, that socket. It was in the power strip. So I'm like, uh, time to throw that lamp away. That was close. So now I'm paranoid about the, all the stuff I've got plugged in in my studio. Was it? I'd had that lamp for like a decade, but man. And it was a fairly bright one. And now I can't get my um, studio lit properly. Like I bought, I've got two new lamps and none, both of them together are not quite the same as that, that one. But, oh well adjust adapt and overcome and things as they say a bit before you um i mean this house should handle any for every, anything i had in there it's just i think it was just too much uh plugged in for too long and it was old and it just finally was like gonna be stupid yeah all everything i, I bought now is led and it's not uh, it's not the same the other one was a like a halogen well, when, I should have known something was kind of up because uh, this particular lamp had a um, it's a, one of those rectangle tops and you have to unscrew this big, heavy glass plate to replace it. Well, I noticed like uh, a month ago, the glass plate had shattered and nothing hit it. It just had shattered. And I'm wondering if it was like something, if it had overheated or something and just, I don't know. But I don't know. anything electronic and you suddenly notice, notice a difference in, uh, you should like, do more than go huh that's weird and go on about your day you should actually you know <laughs> investigate further <clears throat> warning signs like why what is this chest pain ah, it's probably nothing i mean maybe but maybe you should check it out probably from the heat yeah yeah The past master Dan. Save. Oh, wait a minute. His hand, I think, was supposed to come out like that. It was. Does that make sense? Horn guy will solidify. All right, March Hare, be good. Horned guy hasn't really been up front, but once anyway, so 
Here's room. Horn guy was the first one I drew, but uh, Wagon Bridges has uh, stolen the show. The placeholder names are Horned Guy and Wagon Bridges, <laughs> so we're we're working on it slowly here. Cheese, man. That's a, is that still a thing? I remember that. <laughs> so, if it's a kid's book, they won't tell how he's drawn different. They don't deserve good media. <laughs> about the placement of that handle because this gets disturbing it's a wagon nothing I can do from that angle <laughs> you've upset trestle Let's uh, save that, then let's do some color. Oh, hang on. This is my wife. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Will is my brother-in-law. Everybody say hi to Will. He can't see it because he's on Facebook and everybody else is on the uh, the YouTubes. Um, Kusmedi, Jesse Jefferson meeting. Shocking. Still in a meeting. You should quit. Quit that stupid meeting stuff. Who is responsible for like heading up the meeting? Or 
is on me. And why did it get filtered? Because that is uh, problematic. Jim Carrey is just hoping that no one notices. It's a man, but yeah, also, um, um, my gosh, Mike Myers is hoping that no one focuses in on that. They tried to come for Tropic Thunder and uh, Ben Stiller doubled down. Good for him. All this filled in here. And then get his horn. His horn. Yeah, it's getting hot in here. I've got a heater on. I gotta turn that off. I'm starting to sweat. It's unacceptable. No, don't do that. Don't do that. A little red wagon there. Um, his hair was that orange. Band word of the day is man. Is it like, is it actually? Is anytime anybody saying man, is it um, filtering it? Includes an identifier. <sighs> well, well, well. Get this little slightly yellow, not that yellow. Nope. Well, yeah, maybe it was that yellow. And then his overalls just peeking through, right? There is the local color, so that will go right there. Man is probably banned because today is International Women's Day. Somebody just say man, see if it gets banned. Just no, nothing else, just Hiroshi got banned for this sentence or not banned but throttled (laughs) 
man itself man man well i can't see if this is being like <laughs> i don't know if if uh somebody with a wrench is in there like uh letting it through or not but um It's taking um right about an hour and 15 minutes to do each of these which is not horrible Get kind of a brick color here reddish dull reddish maybe that sure why not actually i wanted this to be at night so i may filter this so well, we'll get the color here and then we'll, we'll decide later just kind of caught something and was like that's not right oh it was super fast but it was that all right so there's that <clears throat> now let's go up on top of this one um, no, let's do the let's do the shading first. Um, Jeff's meeting is done. This one won't be. I'm gonna have an image in my head of uh, them at night. Maybe this won't be the, the one. Uh, need to redraw it from the beginning. You missed the inking part. Oh, uh, well. That's what replay is for. lazy you should get a side project like writing a book or something they go over the minutes from the last meeting and then schedule the next meeting
Actually, the minutes from the last meeting showed up about three seconds before you mentioned them. <laughs> Do they know you, you write books? Do they make you write the minutes? At work, anytime do they need anything written? Do they, they get in touch with you? <clears throat> so, total non artist to see coloring shadows gives a little insight. <clears throat> um, yes, I am the master of shadows. Went over to my launch stats for new books, seven days trip on my sale of ebooks for an entire month compared to last year. Oh, there you go. There you go. You win. You've won. Time to go to Disney World or something. I don't know. I've never been to Disney and I've never really wanted to. Trestle cannot see Ken D's chats. Uh, are you set to top chat or live chat? So everybody, in case you didn't know, when you're, you're on YouTube, it defaults to top chat so you don't see everything. FYI. <clears throat> because um, got to control what you see, I guess. I don't know. I got that live chat action. I don't know. What, what's weird? Ken's being censored. What did you do, Ken? Ken can't see trestles. Y'all are being kept apart. Then if it was top chat, you should be offended that you didn't make the top chat cut. How do you, out of 11 people watching live, how do you like gauge? Why isn't everybody in top chat? <laughs> Maybe if both of you are not in top live chat, you won't see each other. Maybe that's it. So stupid. YouTube doesn't know what a chat is or what subscriptions are. Okay, so let's go to the screen layer. But enough of that. I gotta think here because there's a shadow they're peeking behind the shadow but the light really should be coming from the and it could come from either way actually it could come from this way and cast the shadow but then this would also be in a shadow or it could come from the other way this would still be the shadow doesn't matter we'll have it coming from their left <clears throat> their right your your left for the sake of speed and then there will be some, yeah, that works. That would actually make the wall pop against the shadow side. There we go. I used to chat in the GeoCities chat, Cape Canaveral. That was my, that was my chat. I wonder whatever happened to those people. You can't, you can't at Trestle either? Huh. Mm, some shenanigans are going on here. You're being kept apart. Can Trestle at Ken? Geo Cities. I, I had, uh, yeah, it was one of my, actually, my first website was through at college. And then, um, like on the college server, then I moved to Geo Cities. <laughs> Trestle can't at Ken either. They're being kept apart. 
so much time on GeoCities. Oh, I did too. See who your neighbors were. Yeah, you know, there's an archive. You can. Unfortunately, it didn't catch my old site. I wish I'd had a copy of my old uh, my old sites. They were just nonsense. Little email spinning gif of the mailbox. People are wanting to go back to the <laughs> the model of uh, sites like that. Social media. I think everybody's tired of social media now, which is a good thing. We should be, which is why I'll be launching the new Brian Shearer, Brian Shearer.com. I got to plug that. I got to do the marketing thing. Neo cities. Yeah. Well, that, well, there's, I think that's another one I'm thinking of. That's like a, you can make a new one, right? There is a, uh, there is a archive. Like they did catch a bunch of old geo cities pages. Kids today don't know nothing about no geo cities. Back when the internet was the Wild West, man. At the boot camp in '98, set up a website before I left and snail mailed a friend who updated the website. Maybe the first person to ever live blog their boot camp is oh, Do you have a copy of that? Oh, no, you lost it. See? This is why we need to own things. This is also the thing. It's like how much over time, how much history is going to be lost just because formats change and sites go down and blogs and things that are written digitally. They say the internet's forever, but is it, is it 200 years from now? I doubt it. Everybody should write things down. No way, way back machine. Yes, they have the copy. Ask them for or Brian. We're aging ourselves. Yes, we are. Um, and then um the old internet. Yeah. I was gonna say something else. Um what was the other like tripod? Wasn't that another one? Angel fire. Go on to Yahoo search or on to um, Ask Jeeves or uh, what was like the dog pile and the one that just like went, crawled through a ton of <laughs> uh, yeah that's right 200 years from now they'll be wondering why Ken and Trestle are being kept apart it's true you can go back in the uh, archive.org on the Wayback Machine and see the old um, the old Yahoo it's great web crawler yeah yeah man good stuff and you'd stumble across some like really interesting interesting blog um or i don't even remember you know how you like more message boards i guess is one way you found things but you'd have a web ring of similar page you join the web ring for like the comics or whatever Ah, those were the days. And then when we got um, social media, it all just. <clears throat> I was thinking yesterday, it's like, uh, yeah, you know, you can find different things now. SEO is ruined search. Now it's like you're always being fed the same kind of thing you've already seen. And so it's just like you're circling the drain of this topic. <laughs> like my YouTube. Um, so when I surf your YouTube, I've started loading up the film flam account instead of my, this one, because I'm getting the same kind of stuff over and over and over again. Google reader. I used Google reader. What I use, I used a uh, switch, switch to Feedly, but it's not the same. I still use RSS 
feet. Not as much, but... Yeah. All right, so what am I doing here? What am I doing? What am I doing? All right, let's get a little bit of... Reflection. Move from this way. Reflected light. Trollnir gets my website updates via RSS. Sweet. That's what everybody needs to go back to. Oh yeah, uh, Trestle is, uh, has the weird playlists. Well, let's do another multiply layer here to get this going here. Let's get the... Oh no, let's get textured. Yeah, the texture brush. That's that's right. Um, <laughs> Ken wouldn't know. That's right. Draw near says, "What was that website you put your list of favorite sites? You could explore other people's lists." remember that it sounds vaguely familiar jeremy what's up potential titles for this hypothetical children's book are you um i don't have any are you suggesting some brian's cathartic big, big head crew adventures oh this is happening hey this is the age of crowdfunding i can try anything uh oh, hey everybody, I'm getting a call, hold on. Hello? Hello? Is she anybody? Hello? Oh, sorry everyone. They're on to me. So yeah, crowdfunding, I can do anything I want. We all can make this happen for reals. Head and S holders. <laughs> okay. Save. Does Sir Michael always answer Brian's phone? Only when it's spam. Uh, let's see. I've got to. What is on this layer? Nothing. That's what. All right. Let's take that. Let's get this. Let's do that. And this and that and the other and that. Okay. We got that. Then we erase here. Um, we're going to make that handle not actually black, but... Um, Dark blue. You have hot coffee? Bring me some. Wagon Bridges looks like a truck driver, so does this make him a small rig driver? Yes. Past Master Dan says Gene Hackman's alive and is 93. Driving a vehicle. His wagon sits in the sea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course it would. Sorry for these teeth. No, let's see, what did I do? It doesn't matter what I did. It only 
matters. What I'm going to do No matter where his hair is in shadow, it just like glows. <laughs> All right. Let's hit that there. Let's get this. What? Why did that not do it? Wonder why. Don't know. Do not know. Let me talk to myself. And then let me get back to here and talk more to myself. You all don't need to know. You all don't need to know what's up. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna take that out of there. Let's put this in here. There was something else I was gonna do, but don't remember what it was. Uh, I'm gonna make this shadow darker. Oh, am I? But am I really? Oh, yeah, I will because that's the wrong layer. Will I? For real? Yeah. There we go. Alternate name for wagon bridges, Bilbo Wagons. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, yeah. That's not bad. Or a masterpiece. Don't act like it's not a masterpiece. Then save. Um, oh, I gotta go over here. Yep. 
And then I need to uh, make the space in between there. Mortar colored, not brick. It's going to be blue. Why did that look? So it looking so blue because it's next to the red, but it usually looks, it's a cool gray. So that's why I think. I think. <laughs> okay. Um, then we will start, oh, we're going to save it. I'm going to save it and we're going to get my texture brush there. We're going to pull it into the. Into the, the ether. there. Hey, Ella's back. Um, Yes, this is another layer. I could, there we go, let's make that opacity down a little bit. We can't do it with that one because that would show through. All right, let's, uh, let's just add some stuff. stuff Keep it blue. Let's get my little uh, grass effect brush. Where did that go? Effect grass. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna do a different layer though. Oops. Let's get behind it for this part. So it's peeking, peeking over the top. And then up front. No, maybe not. No, I don't like that either. Oh, no, I do like that. Undo. Read it. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> okay. Now, um, I feel like part of it. Oops. I feel like there needs to be the little lighter 
line. Let's make him pop. Off that grass. Put maybe lighter blue on that. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Oh, his grandmother was Winona Ryder. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Come on. Oh, boy. Nightmare and Nima says, have you watched Drawing Duck over its mouse? I have not. I don't know what that is. There's a race trying to fix Pete to win the prize. All right, let's see. What else am I missing here that I was going to do? The rendering of these two is what gives them their disturbing charm. Yeah, I think that's uh, the rendering is key here. Very important. Darken, let's darken a little bit of this up. Darkwing Duck. Drawing Duck. Oh, Darkwing Duck. Yes, I have seen Darkwing Duck. Of course. Cam says they were disturbing his line art. Yes, but the charm, the charm comes from the colors. Little touches here, little final little touches. No, let's not do that. Um, where was this green here? Because that spilled over into his eye. Okay. Oh, I, I was gonna do just a little bit of. Look at that. Oh, and the ground, yeah. Let me um, get the a color here. That is this one, maybe. Is this where it was? says that she met Aaron Sparrow at New York Comic Con. He used to draw Darkwing Duck comic books. He did a sketch for AL. Nice guy. All right, let's see. The next installment of this uh, masterpiece, Babbage. They're, they're on an adventure. So that's what's going on. Hour and a half. Took an hour and a half. So we've got uh, to recap. We've got this one. We've got this one. We've got this one, which is way more green and vibrant. But anyway, all right. You know what? Time to get some some food. Um, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow is Tuesday, Thursday, Thursday. So I should be on tomorrow as well. We'll add another installment to this. Wonderful, wonderful adventure. Um, what else was I going to say? I don't think I got everything. Anything else to say? Yeah. You know, like, subscribe, bell, notifications, blah, 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 all that stuff. And anyway, I'm out. Everybody be good. See you next time. I'm ending this nonsense now.